Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to improve loose skin, whether it's in the back of your arm or you still have some sagging skin, how to tighten that up using your own human growth hormone. Now HGH is considered the anti-aging hormone. A real key function is dealing with uh, everything to do with proteins, okay? Preventing the loss of muscle mass, improving the building of proteins in the matrix uh, of the collagen that surrounds the joints as well, so it's great for joint health skin beauty and giving you that usefulness and you some people actually get it injected it's like fifteen hundred dollars a month uh, for human growth hormone which i don't recommend because it comes with side effects but you don't have to buy it you don't have to get it injected you your body makes it so growth hormone is made by your pituitary but it's activated through the liver so this is why you need a really healthy liver to make everything work fine but let's just talk about what will decrease human growth hormone Number one, stress, especially the hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone and that will inhibit human growth hormone. Number two, sugar will inhibit human growth hormone. High levels of insulin will decrease human growth hormone. And that would be frequent eating, all the healthy snacks that people eat, protein, whatever it is. Consuming excessive amount of protein can also stimulate insulin and decrease human growth hormone. Being a diabetic or a pre-diabetic, you're gonna have high levels of insulin unless you're a type two. That will also um, decrease human growth hormone. And that's why diabetics have a lot of loose skin and loose connective tissue and joint problems and inflammation. Uh, overtraining, if you're exercising too much without enough sleep, that can inhibit human growth hormone because human growth hormone actually is mostly activated at night. Uh, alcohol will inhibit this as well. Okay, let's talk about what will increase it. Exercise. You can spike human growth hormone by 400 to 700% just with exercise alone. But the key is short bursts of high intensity, like sprints would be the best, or maybe the spin bike, or a full body exercise using all of your muscles, high intensity, short duration. Okay, that's really the key. The longer you exercise, let's say you, you're going on long distance running, that's not going to increase human growth hormone. Human growth hormone is spiked with high intensity, short duration exercise. Intermittent fasting is the most potent stimulators of human growth hormone, okay? Uh, the more you fast. So if you were gonna uh, work to three meals, two meals to one meal a day, you'd have the most human growth hormone with the one meal a day, okay? So fasting is a trigger for human growth hormone, and that can, uh, in females, increase it by 1,300%, in males, up to 2,000%. So that's really important, especially if you combine these. Going on keto can increase human growth hormone. Why? Because you're decreasing insulin. Increasing your quality of sleep will also increase human growth hormone. And having a healthy liver can increase human growth hormone, because if your liver is uh, fatty or you have cirrhosis, um, that's going to inhibit the full function. I'm going to put a link down below for uh, specifically how to improve liver function so you can get that data if you need it. But in summary, now you have it. This is what increases human growth hormone. This is what will inhibit it. Your next step is to go ahead and apply this information. Talk to you later. So I want to know what you're interested in as far as an, a future video. Click the link down below and share some ideas I want to hear.